Hey everyone, what's up and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Nikki and I'm a new grad nurse working in labor and delivery. I decided to create this channel so that I can share some of my tips and insights with you guys as well as share my story and what I've been through and maybe shed some insights on what it's like to be a nurse, a new grad nurse in particular. So if you're interested in that, please consider subscribing to my channel. I post a video every Sunday and that way you will not miss any. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about some of the things that I carry in my work bag. I started carrying most of these things as a student in clinical, so if you're a nursing student or a working RN, I hope that you find this helpful. Most, if not all, of the items that I will be talking about today will be included in links in the description box. So if you're interested in purchasing any of the items that I mentioned here today, I've made it really easy for you to find them. So let's keep this intro short and sweet and start on the video. All right, so I'm gonna start with the bag that I use, which is this Adidas backpack. I am more of a backpack kind of girl than a shoulder bag, just cause I feel like it's easier on my back cause of my neck and my shoulders just hurt all the time. So it's just easier for me to carry one of these. This one has lots of pockets and it's been serving me pretty well. It's white, so it's gotten a little bit dirty, but I think it's held up pretty okay, so. All right, so I'm gonna start off with my stethoscope case, which holds a few more things than just my that's good. I like that it has like these pockets so that nothing really falls out when I open it. So I have my stethoscope in here. Um, when we started nursing school, a Littman representative came to our school and explained the stethoscopes and offered a small discount. So most of us got Littmans. Honestly, you don't have to get a Littman. It's just a very popular brand. I'm sure most stethoscopes work perfectly fine. This is a Cardiology 4. I like that you can kind of customize it and pick it out. So I picked the purple and then black like ear pieces or whatever and the bell, diaphragm, whatever it's called. I like it and I've had it for a couple years now and it's been working perfectly fine so there's that other things that i keep in here i'm always coming home with random things in my pocket so i have a flush i have a bunch of alcohol wipes in here as well these pen lights which i don't really use that often in labor and delivery but i have them in here in case i do i used to have a really cute rose gold one that i like but i can't seem to find it so i'll make sure to find the link for that because it's really cute and it's not very expensive so if you guys want to get that when i started nursing school i was so excited you can see jack's little butt over here he's getting comfy on my stuff on my pile of socks right there actually <laughs> he's so cute what was I saying? Oh yeah, when I got accepted into nursing school, I was so excited and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get all the cute stuff. And that's why like, this is purple, which I was like, oh, it'll match my stethoscope. So I'll make sure to include that link to the rose gold pen light because I was very excited about it at the moment. The other things that I keep in here are these plastic things that help take off the tension off your ears for when you're wearing a mask for 12 plus hours. So you just put it back here and attach the mask to these instead of to the ears. So that helps sometimes, even though I do feel like my ears are kind of used to having a mask on them all the time at this point. But sometimes like you'll get a brand of masks at your hospital that are tighter than what you're used to. So I just like to keep them there just in case. Also, I got a few of these headbands with buttons on them and they serve the same purpose and I wear these as well. And then there's just like some spare parts that came with my stethoscope, like um, extra ear pieces and a little like plastic part that goes on like the bell. So yeah, there's that. I really like it and it's convenient just to keep all of my things together. And I'll just like wrap my stethoscope up like that and stick it in. Sticking with another case, I have my pencil case, which I think is pretty cute too. It has like two openings. It opens this way so you can keep like ones that you um, use more often over here and then you also can just open it up at the top. So besides like pens, pencils, and highlighters, I also have like fancy markers in here and like fancy pens just cause I like to journal and I keep like a bullet journal. So sometimes during my free time or like times when there's like a lull during work, 
I'll just work on that. So I just keep some of those supplies in here as well. I also have a watch charger and I have a phone charger that I bring to work with me too, but I left it in my locker at work. But yeah, it's nice to have these things just in case. What else? I have a thing of lotion. My hands get so dry from using all of the hand sanitizer and washing my hands all the time. So I put this on like after every time I do my hand hygiene. Also, I have a pull socks, which I usually don't carry around, but I've been a little bit paranoid with the coronavirus. So I'll just keep this in here. And sometimes I'm like, am I out of breath or is this just me being paranoid? I'll just stick this on my finger just to have a number that tells me I don't have coronavirus. <laughs> oh, here, I also have my scissors. In labor and delivery, I usually use this just to cut off the belly band after the baby's born so that I can provide a little bit of comfort to the mom after she's delivered. So yeah, that's about it with that. I have another case, but this is just my blood pressure cuff. So I bought this one, like I said, I wanted to get all cute stuff when I went to nursing school. So I got this green camo one with a matching case, but it works fine and you don't need to get a cute one. But I got this in nursing school, like I said, to practice taking blood pressures. We were told that we needed our own, but I don't think every single student needed to buy one, but it's nice to have your own. That way you can, are you comfy? <laughs> It's nice to have your own that way you can practice at school during like your skills lab but also go home and practice also my mom like asked me to take her blood pressure sometimes just because i don't know she's paranoid but good to have i still use it obviously i don't really use it at work you don't really take manual blood pressures anymore and you wouldn't use your own cuff but good thing to have during nursing school and i still do get some use out of it next up i have my water bottle which is kind of basic and boring but i highly recommend finding a water bottle that you like and that you find is cute because honestly it helps me to drink more water there used to be days during clinical and during work that i would would drink my coffee in the morning and then nothing else for the rest of the day and then i'd be driving home from work and be like i don't think i've peed since 5 a.m so i've made it a point to try to drink more water and for me having a cute water bottle that i really like helps to motivate me and to drink more water next up i have some things that i was really excited to get when i started working as a labor and delivery nurse so i got some scrub caps and my favorite style is like the ponytail style so i wear a low bun and it like gets tucked into the little thing and then you wear a little cute bow on the back so i have lots of them so most of them are like the ponytail style as you can see this one is one of my favorites it's like a christmas koala one how cute i think all of these are from etsy but i also have some ones that are in my work locker that are from amazon that are a lot cheaper because these are like 15 to 20 dollars a piece also yes i'm that nurse that got a cervix scrub cap love it next up i have my compression socks and i don't know if it's in my head but i wear them every shift i feel like they make my legs hurt a little bit less at the end of the day they're all from amazon but i really like these black ones because they're a lot easier to slip onto my legs but they still provide that compression that helps your legs not to swell up so i will definitely be including the link to these these are good too um these came in a pack with like a bunch of animals these are like pineapples these are like my least favorite just because they're like bright yellow but these are owls i have some doggos i have whales so yeah next up i was pretty excited when i got these as well they come in this little pouch these are my goggles for my eye protection so my hospital policy is that we're required to wear eye protection when we're in contact with any patient and especially in labor and delivery you're supposed to wear eye protection during a delivery because you never know where that amniotic fluid is gonna splash and there have been some near misses in my case so i really like these these are really cute they almost look like regular glasses when you're looking head on but they still have like you know the side and the top protection and they also block blue light i like them and they're really cute and they come in a couple of different colors this is the blue color but they're not like very very blue they're almost like a grayish color but they have blue i think they have like yellow they have red ones and they all are in this like clear material they're really cute i really highly recommend these i got one of my friends to get them too because she saw how cute they were on me 
Next up, I wanted to talk about my watch bands. I really like the um, silicone ones. I have them in a bunch of different colors. Like they have um, like two packs, four packs on Amazon that I really like. Um, I have these, I have a pink one, I have like a burgundy one. A few of them are in my car just because sometimes I'll switch them out on my way to work when I realize I'm wearing like my fabric one. Cause I like these because you can obviously wipe them down better and they don't absorb water. So that's why I like to wear these kinds. I also have this one that I know is in my car because I like to use it the most. It's a pink one that has like the holes in it because even though it's still silicone, it is a little bit more breathable because of the hole so I really like those and I get all of my watch bands on Amazon because nobody's paying Apple $50 for one of these and then lastly I just have a notebook that is just like my catch-all for things that I need to remember I just jot down notes in here things that I frequently forget I'll just write them down to like try to make myself a checklist or just to write down things that I need to remember because I'm a new grad and I still have so much to learn even though I have been on the unit for seven weeks now. But it's just a good idea just to have like a place where you can write everything down that you can look back on as a resource and that's how I've been using this notebook. And this one I got from Target but there you don't have to get like a cute fancy one like this. You can get whatever you want just to have a place to write things down. So those are all of the items that I have to share with you. I tried to bring home most of the things from my locker so that I can show you guys what I actually use at work, but I might have left some stuff in there. So if you have any questions about some of the items or any recommendations on what you guys use that I haven't mentioned that are lifesavers or that make your day go by a little bit smoother, I would love to know. And like I said, the items that I talked about today are gonna be included in links in the description. So if you're interested in them, check them out there. If this video was helpful, or enjoyable please be sure to hit the like button it really helps with the youtube algorithm and helps me to grow my channel additionally if you would love to follow me on my journey and hear more about my tips and insights be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another video thanks for watching and i'll see you next week bye